We're going to make chocolate mousse. Uh, this isn't the simplified method of making it. We're going to cook the uh, egg yolks with the Kahlua, the sugar. We're going to flavor it a little with the uh, instant espresso. Whip up the egg whites, a little sugar in there, and after the chocolate is melted, which you see back there, bittersweet chocolate, that's going to be folded in with the egg and then finally the egg whites will be folded very carefully and then placed into uh, uh, glasses. Served with not whipped cream because I don't want we don't want to take away from the flavor of the chocolate even though whipped cream looked great on top. A little shaved chocolate with a little powdered sugar can be served on top of the uh, chocolate mousse when it's ready. So we'll wait for the chocolate to melt and then we'll continue. Meanwhile, uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it, you probably do know how. We're going to separate the egg yolk and the white. We're going to put the uh, yolk in here because this is a perfect size to cook that along with the milk and the sugar. And the whites will be placed in a larger bowl put into the refrigerator cold with the little whip that's going to whip it up so everything is cold and that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to cook the uh, egg yolk chef just setting it up putting the sugar with it and uh, also you want to get technical wrap up that bowl with the egg whites so it doesn't pick up any other flavors that are in your refrigerator. So I'm going to put in the Kahlua and a little of this uh, instant coffee And after that sugar and the Kahlua and the espresso, we'll add the milk. Or you can use heavy cream. Or you can use light cream. I didn't have everything in the house to make this recipe except the heavy cream, so this time I'm doing it with milk. Heavy cream is better. Now I'm going to whip this up. And this is going to go into a double boiler. And very carefully I'm going to keep whipping it until it gets thick. But now I'm going to taste it just to see how the sugar content is. Because don't forget, it's bittersweet chocolate. So we're going to have to add a little more sugar to this. Now I'm going to mix, whip this mixture of the egg yolk with the milk and the sugar and the Kahlua and the espresso. for a few minutes like this before I even cook it. So I'll do that for a few minutes. Now if you notice that there's no more light, the color is even. There's no more liquidy looking in the center you know, as you're whipping it. Then this is just about done. Just don't forget this. This is cooked. When you put the chocolate in here, it's gonna thick. It's gonna be thicker. And then we're gonna get the egg whites. So, see that? That's good enough. So we'll take this, remove it from the fire. Just whip it to cool it down a little. I should remove it from the burner too because that metal is hot, so we'll do it over here. Okay, notice the consistency. <clears throat> See? It's just about like a sauce. 
Now we'll take the chocolate. Add the chocolate to this. You always lose chocolate when you're working like this. Then it's always good to have kids around. They ask if they can lick it. I don't know if they like the bittersweet that much. Okay. Mix this up. Then we'll get the whites. Now we'll get the whites whipped. <clears throat> we want firm peaks on this. Not soft peaks. And just towards the end, and it's almost there, I'm going to put some sugar in it. One more round.
Okay, now we're going to fold this into the chocolate. Then I'm going to take this and put it into the big bowl and then fold everything. Now once we put this in a glass, you refrigerate it, and you know if it worked, when you wake up in the morning, and nothing has separated. Because if anything has separated, that means something didn't get cooked enough. Not mixing, just folding. As soon as I don't see too much white, I'm going to pour this into a glass. And let it chill. Okay. Now you put this into a glass. Let me get a glass. I'm figuring this should make enough for about four. So nice and easy. Let it go into the glass. That should be enough. That's one. two and then we fill up the rest okay that made four well four nice portion see that's quite a bit you can see that and look at the uh, hmm? that's a lot so you could really have made five but since I'm having four people over I'll treat them and I get to lick the bowl and wrap them in saran wrap the top so they don't get a skin and tomorrow when you serve them you put a little shaved chocolate on it a little powdered sugar or just the shaved chocolate or both or just powdered sugar and that's it